What you doing, Sam? Just waiting for Photoshop to boot up. It's taking its sweet old time. Yeah, it does that. Uh, how much uh, RAM you got in there? I don't know. I mean, as much as it came with when I got it a couple of years ago, probably about two gigs or so. You know, maybe uh, adding a little more RAM in there might help your uh, waiting around with the Photoshop. That's actually a pretty good idea. You know, a lot of people think that when their computer starts to slow down, they have to get a whole new computer. And actually, they just need to get a little boost of RAM, which might only cost, you know, what? 40 bucks. Now let me ask you this, Jude. Um, what exactly does more RAM do for you? Certain programs will run a little bit faster. Right. You can have more programs open and switch in between them without waiting around. Mm -hmm. You could possibly boot up even a little bit faster. So it's kind of like a big turbo boost yeah, for yeah. your computer for not a lot of money. Yeah, yeah, you know, 40, 50 bucks and you could be much less frustrated waiting around for things to open. Now, all RAM is the same or all RAM is different? I've, I mean, there's no, obviously there's, some... There's many different kinds of RAM. Uh, the kind that you need will depend on your particular computer model. Um, right. There's a very easy way to find out what you need. You just have to go to a RAM vendor site, Small Dog, Crucial, Viking, Kingston, right. any of those, just punch in your model number. It'll show you the exact chips that you need. Right. Um, in some cases, you may even get a scanner program that will look at your computer and say, hey, you need this, and then offer to If I don't it. even want to bother looking yeah. for a model number, yeah, it can detect what my computer is. Yeah, it'll just pop up the certain chips that you need. You order okay. them. They send you the thing, and then when you get the RAM chip in the mail, usually come like that. There you got you just your need RAM. Uh, the RAM and little screwdrivers to get the back of your computer open. And then this is not going to take you very long. I mean, even if you're not very technologically adept, I mean, we're talking about five minutes here, basically. Yeah, five minutes. You basically just have to know where the RAM is on your computer. Right. Uh, if you don't get an installation guide from the place you bought the RAM from, you can find it very easily on the web. Just Google your model number, install RAM. In many yep. cases, you'll get videos. Right, they'll show you exactly what you do. Now, there are a couple of things you want to watch out for when installing RAM, right? Yes, the three C's. You don't want mm -hmm. those anywhere near the back of your computer and when what you are have the three it open. C's? Carpet, children, and cats. So carpet for no static electricity. Right. Cats, because they'll try to get up in the back of your computer. And kids, just, they get a little sticky. Um, Peanut butter in the back of the laptop, not yeah. really easy to get out. Kicking the little screws off the table, that sort of thing. Gotcha. So make sure you're in a nice clean area mm -hmm. with no carpet, no dust, no cats. And then the last thing you got to do is just really turn it back on, go into your system information here, and make sure that that new amount of RAM is showing. Gotcha, because you want to make sure that the computer is actually recognizing that it has yeah. the RAM. So now let's take a look here. Uh, yeah, looks like it's got it. Four gigabytes of RAM. I think I'm going to try firing up this Photoshop again. Let me All get right. ready I'm here. Stand back. Yeah, watch yourself. Yeah. There's a lot of RAM here. Mm hmm. Way, whole lot of RAM. Mm hmm. All right. And. Yowzes! That was quick. Nosebleed. I know.